Hi everyone, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I have been building a cow shelter for the cows, but in this video I am going to show you what I have to get ready in the greenhouse here so that the two little piglets that I want to buy soon can come in here. So as most of you guys know, I am doing a deep bedding system here in the greenhouse, which means I fill it up with carbon wood chips in my case, and these chickens walk on it all winter long and slowly add the manure to it and it composts over time as they turn it and oxygen is added on a regular basis. These chickens will compost this whole deep bedding. It is very good to have several different species of animals walk on the same place because it confuses bugs and worms and parasites and everything when they're different animals. For example, in nature, you know, all the chickens always follow the, cow, um, the cows or the birds follow the herbivores. And what I want to do here is I want to add two pigs to this system because the chickens in some areas have a hard time plowing through and turning this deep bedding. I want to have the little pigs to plow through this and aerate it and, and help the composting process. So I, there are a few things to consider there. This is a first time test for me and I'm going strictly after Polyface Farms tips on this and their know-how and their experience there. And that is, if the pigs are too big, they will eat your chickens. So I'm gonna get small pigs, as small as I can, and they will only be able to be in here for a short time until if they get too big, they will start eating the chickens. So there are a few things I'll have to do. I will show you um, walk around with the camera and show you what I will change here. So here you can see that in this greenhouse tunnel with the plastic on the sides I've set up this net, this um, plastic chicken netting here and when my dad bought this some years ago I really thought that this wouldn't last at all that this would just break, but it has been incredibly durable. And I've just set it up all around the sides of the greenhouse so that the chickens cannot get to the plastic. Now this won't be enough for the pigs. I will have to set something up on the sides here um, so the pigs can get to it and break it. Uh, I had the big pigs in here as a test in the beginning of the season. And I put a one electric wire all around here, but it didn't work because this deep bedding is so deep and um, it was so dry, especially in the beginning, that the it insulated or isolated the pigs from the ground and they would not get shocked if they touched that electric wire, so that didn't work. So I will have to see about what I will put by the sides here to keep the pigs from breaking that. That will be the biggest task. Now the next task is I will have to get the roosts off the ground for the chickens. I will have to get the nest boxes off the ground for the chickens. And for the first couple days, I want to have the little piglets inside of a little area so that the chickens will not be chased by them and freak out when these new um, new pigs <laughs> will come in here. They won't know what is going on here. So I just want them to get used to each other for a while. So I am going to make a square out of these uh, gates here and then I'm going to put the roost and the nest boxes on top and I'm going to build this up here in the front corner and in the future the water from the chickens will also have to be somewhere else the feed for the chickens will have to be off the ground everything just has to be off the ground for the pigs will that be worth it um i don't know we'll see i don't 
picture this being too much work except for the sides here to protect it somehow from the picks. Not sure how I'm gonna do that. But um, the other solution would be to have the pigs always in a smaller area and then just move the pigs around in something mobile here. But I would like to have them be able to walk here freely and just stick through everything. So uh, we'll see. So what I'm doing here is I'm fastening these two gates together in a way that the pigs will not be able to um, lift them up individually. They will just be able to, if they want to lift something up with their noses, that they will have to lift up everything. Like this, these two can't go like this, they're just fastened. And um, over there you see there's a fence post in there that's um, firmly in the ground that will prevent them from lifting this up as well. And then these pigs are small, so I don't think they will lift this whole structure up. Like I said, these nest boxes are crazy heavy as well. And then eventually these piggies are supposed to just go freely here. So we'll see about that. We'll see how that will work. Here under the nest boxes, you see how the wood chips were when they came in here. And um, in this end of the greenhouse, the northern end, they haven't composted much at all. The chickens have just been here to lay eggs pretty much. They mainly are at the south end. And um, let's take this and compare this to the wood chip at the south end. Okay, here are the wood chips that I just took. See the difference? This is composting, this not yet. Now I will turn, I will turn these, um, these nest boxes so they face north because the chickens like to lay their eggs in a darker more protected place I don't want the light to shine in there and right now it's facing west and the afternoon and evening Sun will just shine straight into these boxes here hey ladies I have three broody hens right now, two Sussex and a Bress. The Bress don't get broody much, but I've had a couple now. The Sussex do it all the time. And one of you guys asked why I have so many Sussex hens. I, I don't have many, I think I have five or six Sussex hens. I have five or six New Hampshire, five Australor. I've just tested a lot of dual purpose breeds over the um, past year just to see how they do, free ranging and all of that, growing, gaining weight, laying eggs. And I like the breasts by far. It's the best breed, in my opinion, best dual purpose breed. Check out the video um, where I talk about them. It's an incredible breed. And um, that's what I will continue with. I won't continue with um, the other breeds, even though they are beautiful. Uh, I have to go with what is economically, if I wanna, work with um, with heritage breeds. I really I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here so the pigs don't break this and then go to the plastic eventually as well. Like I said the electric fence didn't work because it's just too dry. They don't the spark doesn't go into the ground through the pig. So um, yeah, if you guys have a good idea, please let me know. I mean, you could put some boards here, but that would be a lot of work and you would have to come fairly high here. It's, it's not what I wanna do. It really is not what I wanna do. If you guys have a tip, please let me know. I would really appreciate that.
If you guys want to support us, the best way you can do that is by sharing these videos. It's by commenting and interacting with me and others who are watching and commenting. It is giving it a thumbs up and for those people who feel like they want to give thumbs down to everything they watch, YouTube recognizes that as the same kind of activity as a thumbs up. So thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, it helps promote the video because there's interaction. People don't know that. Obviously thumbs up is nice if you like the video. So we appreciate that. Thank you guys and talk to you later. Bye bye.